Hey everybody, welcome back to this week's episode of Details of the Dairy, where I tell you something about our farm and why we do it that way. Um, so this week's topic is uh, the breed of cows that we have. I get a lot of questions of like, hey, why do your cows look like beef cows? Why, why do they look like Herefords? Are they Simmental? And the answer is they're Fleckvy and Fleckvy cross and a couple Holstein sprinkled in, you know, I think that's a Holstein. And, but, you know, all the, all these other ones are uh, Fleckvy or Fleckvy cross. So now you're probably wondering what Fleckvy is. Uh, Fleckvy is a dual purpose breed from Germany. So that means that dual purpose means that they can be used for dairy or beef. So there's, but the bloodlines for dairy are different than the ones that are more for beef. There's, you know, there's uh, similar to like uh, how milking shorthorn, uh, there's a shorthorn beef and a milking shorthorn. These are milking fleck V. Uh, the, the beef fleck V would just be fleck V. But anyway, yeah, they originated in Germany. Um, they're just a, a really tough cow. And that's kind of why we started using them in our crossbreeding program 17-ish years ago, right around there. Uh, so my parents were at World Dairy Expo and they came across the uh, Fleck V booth and they kind of just were like, eh, what the heck, that's must be some beef cows. But so then they stopped and talked to the guys and uh, they stopped out to the farm uh, like the, the week after World Dairy Expo and my parents bought some semen and we tried it and you know, the calves come out looking a little goofy. They got white faces and uh they're you know got a little more meat to their bones and uh so anyway we, we raised them up and we started milking them and once they came into milk we were like these things are actually pretty awesome you know they're they the, especially the first generation of crossing they have they have the milk of a holstein and they have the ruggedness of a fleck v so that's why we started using them because we just had a lot of uh, trouble with, uh, you know, their feet and their leg, their feet and legs holding up, and most of that's probably due to just the layout of our farm. You know, the part, the freestall barn is way back here, and they got a couple hundred yard walk down a hill to the barn and so you know that's probably harder on them than if our our uh, parlor was just connected but anyway so we started using them and we really liked them and so then we decided to keep breeding them and until we uh or they were actually uh, full bloods some of them were and so then that allowed us to start selling bulls for uh to other farms so, so that they can use uh some fleck fee on their farm and and all that and we did buy some embryos i think or no not embryos we bought uh some heifers from from uh canada that were fleck v and uh we got them from dr john pop the guy that we've always worked with on the Fleck V. He, he brought, th I think, three of them down and, and uh, we flushed them and built up a herd of them. And, and yeah, so that's kind of how we got started with the Fleck V. And that's why we have cows that look like her. But we have cows that, we have Holsteins because we bought a few just because we are we just wanted a few more cows. so. Hard to find Fleck V's and so we bought some Holsteins. But um, yeah, so just a little bit more about the breed. They're from Germany. They're, uh, they're bred for um, grazing mostly. We don't graze, but they're real popular uh, with 
uh, people that graze, well, well, I shouldn't say real popular, they're getting more popular with people that graze. Um, and they're just a tough, rugged animal. Like, you know, they don't, they don't have much for health problems. Like, you know, small things here and there, but, but nothing major. Uh, I think we've only ever done a DA surgery on one. So that's a displaced abomasum. So their abomasum is one of their, one of the cow's stomachs. And, uh, they, it can get just, that was a big fart, but, uh, it can get, it can, uh, I think it's when they go off a of feed because they're feeling sick from something else that the ab the abomasum i think it floats up to where it shouldn't be so a vet has to come and do a surgery and put it back to where it should be but geez you're gassy too but yeah so uh we've never had to do one of those on them and they're just a a real tough animal and we really like them and yeah they've been really good for our farm you know it's given us more opportunities to like to you know selling bulls that's something that we never would have gotten into otherwise but but yeah so that is uh why we have flex v cows and um yeah so hope that answers some questions you might have uh if you have more questions feel free to ask um, I'd be more than happy to tell you about them. I think they're pretty awesome cows. And yeah, hope you tune back in next week. Not sure what our topic's gonna be, but we'll find something to talk about. And uh, make sure you tune in uh, probably this Saturday and uh, be looking for my next video coming out. So thanks for watching and hope to see you guys again.